We found some strange sounds. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mythical Beast, tonight uh, we're going to do a live stream on YouTube where we're going to have a watch party a for watch episode party. one of Buddy System. It's going to be a commentary that then we'll have a Q&A afterward. Uh, details below. Yes. But right now we're going to have a listening party. Oh, yes. Okay? Yeah, it's go it's going to be a little weird. Uh, there's lots of stuff in store, some sounds that we've created in musical form a little bit later. Uh, but first, some weird sounds that we found. Yes, we have scoured the internet for some weird and strange noises, sounds that we're going to listen to. We're going to present those to each other mm -hmm. in something that we like to call, What the heck am I hearing? Okay, Link, are you ready to hear a sound? Yeah, Now, I am. it's not going to be completely impossible because we are going to give each other uh, choices okay. as to what this might be. Because otherwise it probably would be, I believe. Right. So uh, I'm gonna give you the choices before you hear the sound. It's gonna be that easy. Okay. Is this A, a toad croaking, B, a seal being born, C, a swimming donkey being surprised, or D, Lizzie 15 minutes after eating Domino's gluten-free pizza? Here's the sound. <laughs> I mean, notice the I blah at the end. I would have guessed that that was like a horrific burp. That's not even one of the choices. No, it's not. It's like you know, sometimes you'll like a burp will brew, and then it'll like it'll start coming yeah. out, and then it's still down there, and it's coming out too. Right, it's internal, then a it's external. Toad croaking. It's not one of those, man. A seal being born. Is that what you said? That's a choice. Uh, what's the third Swimming one? Swimming donkey being surprised, or of course the Lizzie one. <laughs> I, Which is not true. I'll go How are you surprised as a donkey? I hope that's it. Do I get to see this? Yeah. I'm gonna guess the donkey, but I don't know why. Just because right. I want to see Let's it. Let's show him. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, you 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 missed the sound. You covered up the sound. I'm sorry. I had to make. My you gotta own play sound. it in the end again. Play the end again, Eddie. <laughs> Yeah, that was what you, you did in response to him. It screamed along with me. That's what all seals do when they pop into the world. That's what Ow! both of my children did, and they're not even seals. I made it. Now I will say See, that was gross. That that no, that scarred me, now, man. Hold on, the farting noise that you heard was actually from a male seal that was next to the seal giving birth. So he's making his like sound with his nose. So he's just sitting there going, making his noise. <laughs> That's what he does. That's what I did while my kids were being born. <laughs> right. Just did in the corner. Farting it up. <laughs> I do not want to make eye contact <laughs> with them. Yeah. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, in an effort to recover from that, I have a sound to play for oh, you. please do that. Is the sound that I'm gonna play for you, Rhett, uh, the sound of cracking crab legs, a knee bending, Stepping barefoot on beetles, or all your hopes and dreams being crushed. That's a familiar sound. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, I'm ready. See if it I'm, rings true. I'm ready to listen. Oy. Yeah. Didn't sound like a crab leg. Definitely did not sound like a knee bending. That would be a screwed up knee. There was, hopes, a, there was a, dreams. There was a step. Steppingness to it. Stepping barefoot on beetles. Sinking. Show it to him, Maddie. Oh, it is uh, a knee. Uh, that and guy needs to get it checked out. Mm. As, no, as it says, that is a healthy knee. They put a sensor, Listen. like a microphone, right there on the knee. That's normal, dude. I've, every time I put my ears to my own knees, I've never heard that. Put your knee to my ear. Put your ear to my knee. <laughs> Did you hear Oh! That? Oh! Oh my goodness, it sounds just like the video. Really? Let me knee yeah. your ear. Yeah. Let me hear your knee. I always get it back. I don't know if that was Eddie playing it again or. It was. Oh, okay. Mine didn't make any noise? <laughs> uh, no, it didn't. Right, I got another sound for you. Is this R2D2 a bird squawking, a man making noises with his mouth, or nothing? It's in your head. I mean, it started 
Al R two D two ish. Maybe it's a man doing an R two D two impression. Maybe it is. Like that guy from Police Academy. Is he still around? Well, love you're him. You're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded electric. Okay. Which is why I'm going with the birds squawking. <laughs> know, okay. Is it? Here it is. Yes. It is. Link. This is a bird. Can you believe that? It's yeah. It's like a transformer. It's an Australian bird. Explode. The liar bird. We gotta get one, man. Yeah, that wouldn't be annoying to have around. I want him to be a free-flying bird that comes and goes as he pleases, but then when he comes and he makes the noises for us, it's entertainment. Yeah. I'm working on it. I don't, okay, don't. I got another one for you. Uh, is this sound an ornery camel? A hungry goat? A grandpa spitting out wasabi? Hmm. Or your weird uncle in his zombie Steve Harvey costume? How do you know about that? Very popular last year and this yeah. year. Play, Play it. it. <laughs> <laughs> man, I know it. this guy. This has got to be a freaking grandpa, man. But now that because everybody's like, "Oh, look at grandpa! He turned. They put him in there once. They put wasabi in his mouth again." Let me, let me see. I know I got to be right about that. You're right. Show him, grandpa. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 man. It's a spitting goat, man. These goats acting like grandpas and humans. It is man. not a grandpa. I just, I, look, I don't. I'm not. I'm not comfortable. I feel like there's something. Paranormal going on with these goats. No, 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 no. That. Goat experts say that uh, one reason goats yell or spit and buh, 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 is because they want to be fed. Uh, goat experts also lie when people ask them what they do for a living. Because they're not actually goat experts. No, who would who would say there's a? I'm a goat expert. What do you do for? I'm a goat expert. No one wants to say that. You don't, ever met a goat expert? Don't crush the dreams of future goat experts. Let's continue this listening party. Uh, Mythical oh, yeah. beast. You guys ask us questions. Mm -hmm. And have we ever failed to give you an adequate answer to a question that you have asked? No. Never. We've been tried and true. We've tried to be true. And hopefully you have learned that all you have to do to get an answer from us is ask. And so it's time for a little segment that we like to call, All You Had To Do Was Ask. Okay, so our friends at Amazon ask us to use the Amazon Echo, the hands-free speaker you can control with your voice to help us help you answer some of your questions. The question comes from Rachel Merritt who asks, what's the best way to write a song? I would hmm. think you guys would know a lot about songwriting as you do it often. Well, Rachel, we're about to get vulnerable for you right now because we're gonna let you in on a little uh, background thing that we do. Our process. A lot of times what we do is we actually start songs individually and then we develop demos that they, we, we present to each other. And only to each other. And then we critique them and then develop them into a song. But we're about to present demos to each other for new songs that neither of us have heard. Right, we have added the tracks to our personal library on Amazon Music and we're gonna play them. Uh, the, the way to get the Echo to listen is uh, just to say its name. So I've got the first track that Go I'm, first, I'm gonna play for you. Okay. Don't be too hard on me. Mm -hmm. um, Alexa, play Tater Faced Boy. Playing Tater Faced Boy. <laughs> When I spotted a boy with a face like a spud, I approached the young man, and boy was it a sight. His face looked like fries, and I just wanted to take a bite. Tater face boy, stay safe. Don't dip your head in ketchup if you don't want me to eat your face. Yeah, that's it. It's a little that's wordy all, at the end. That's all I got. Tater face boy, which is something that we said on a previous episode. I do remember. Yeah, that. the band names episode. I thought oh. that. I thought it needed to be real. You know, and what? it's got a moral. You know, don't put your head in ketchup if it looks like a potato. I, we can change that. If you don't, we, that's the whole point. We can change that part. Okay. And so some, this is and some other this parts. This is this is the world that I work well, in. You know, speaking of that episode where you pitch those, it's interesting because when you yeah. pitch those different names and you pitch some of the names of the songs mm -hmm. that they might have, uh, I went with one of those. Alexa, play, If I Were a Woman, I'd Marry a Man Like Me. Playing If I Were a Woman, I'd Marry a Man Like Me. If I were a woman, I'd marry a man like me. He'd be tall, have a beard like wood, and he'd like to eat beans. There's nothing wrong with loving yourself. You know what you need. I'm a woman, I'm very young man. 
Sorry, girls, he's taken. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we both try to sell our songs by miming them. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at you. Yeah. I can just tell out of the corner of my eye. He's really trying to sell yeah, this I thing. I think I sold it well. Now, what do you think about it's that? It's a very self-serving song. I mean, where, where's my part? You know, it'd be, it'd be for anybody. Any man could sing that song. Wood and beans <laughs> and beards. That's my verse. Oh, I get you my get, own. You get a verse. I get my own verse. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What else you got? Okay, I got another one. I wanted to go, uh, I just wanted to give people a visceral experience. Okay. Um, really to, to creep somebody out. Okay. Alexa, play Creep You Out. Playing Creep You Out. Yes. Your demo fades out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to leave you wanting more. I'd be oh, creepy. Wow, I don't want any more. I mean, that could be good for a certain. You, you know what? That's good for your solo project. I, I I hope that they put the lyrics on the screen because I know it's hard to understand. But that's part of it. Mm. It's like, am I creeped out? Am I attracted to this vocalist? I don't know what's. I'm concerned. I don't know what to feel. I'm concerned for you a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, buy a ticket on the log flume ride. Okay, I got I got one for you. Now, I, I think that, you know, they play a lot of music while you're being massaged, and I feel like they always kind of stick with just the same genre, so I thought it was time to mix it up a little bit for massage music. Okay. Alexa, play Ambient Massage Song by Rhett. Playing Ambient Massage Song. I'm so tight, so stressed, need someone to rub my neck. Oh yeah, that's the spot. I like the way you work my muscle knots. Put some oil on my back. Give me a two-handed attack. I had a really hard week, and I want you to rub my feet. I'm so stiff, so stressed. Need someone to rub my chest. Oh yeah, that's the spot. I like the way you work my booty knots. <laughs> I can, I mean, it really took me to a massage parlor. Yeah. I was there. You were right there on the booty knot. <laughs> oh, no, I was not on your booty knot. <laughs> I mean, you know, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> no. no, I don't know what you, <laughs> that, I like the beat. All right, you know, I just thought. Wow, I was, that's. I thought we could sell We could good. sell that to the massage parlors. Yeah, we'll go door to door. <laughs> we'll, go to door. Okay. we'll keep them in a satchel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know what, we let you in on the process. They all don't bit. make it. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't usually, usually hear the just demos. about twenty five percent. So one of those songs, probably one of mine, will be the one that we <coughs> move forward with and make. Mm. Uh, but thanks for listening, and thanks to Amazon Echo for sponsoring this episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm Mike. And we're in Barcelona now. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You too can ask Alexa to play music and more instantly. And to purchase your own Amazon Echo, follow the link in the description. Click through to come with the Gamora. We're going to play more of Guess That Sound with Alex, Mike, and Jen. Click through <laughs> for that. Remember, also information about our YouTube live stream in the description as well. Discount. Discover, Discover the, the first. first chicken wing. Man, I'm so tired of breasts. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on! Chicken, look What's at this. What's this thing attached to it? I don't know, but it's right it's here. It's smaller than you're making it. It's, 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 it's folded up. Yeah. Man, look at that. What is that? It's, it's got three parts. One's pointy. Why don't you try to eat a little bit of it? Hold on, hold on. Let, pop, let, I wanted to try to eat it. Cut off the weird part. And then... Get the other two parts. Oh. You take the one that looks like a little leg. I got it. Oh, you know what it makes me want to do? Wink. We should call it a wink. Then she starts sticking her tongue out to try to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Her tongue is like this long. It's like she's a freak of nature. We gave her like an way too much peanut butter. He had peanut butter squirting out the sides <laughs> of his mouth. <laughs> so much.